The most powerful rocket in the world is designed to send humans to deep space. It's the foundation for extending human presence to the moon and beyond. And that will be laid by Artemis One. This is going to be the first in a line of ever more difficult missions into space. Over the course of nearly six weeks, as it travels about 40,000 miles beyond the moon and back to Earth, the mission will test Orion's capabilities and showcase the performance of the Space Launch System rocket. SLS is the abbreviation for the Space Launch System rocket, but there are plans to give it a more refined name. It stands 322 feet tall, weighing in at 5.75 million pounds. Artemis 1 is the first integrated launch of the SLS with the new Orion capsule. Powerful rocket ships are needed to launch a spacecraft to the moon at a high enough speed to overcome Earth's gravity and place it on a precise course for landing on the moon. Even though it's shorter and sleeker than the Saturn V rockets that propelled Apollo astronauts to the moon over a half century ago, NASA's deep space rocket SLS will launch with an astounding maximum thrust of 8.8 million pounds, exerting more power than any rocket ever. The SLS propulsion is provided in stages, just like previous rockets. And this new rocket, in contrast to the Saturn V's sleek design, includes two strap-on boosters. They were modified from NASA's space shuttles. And just like the shuttle boosters, they will peel away after just about two minutes. But they won't be salvaged from the Atlantic Ocean for reuse. The core stage will continue to fire before detaching and fragmenting when it ultimately crashes into the Pacific Ocean. And then much higher, another stage will launch. And that's going to send the Orion spacecraft cruising to the moon. That should take place approximately two hours after liftoff. These are interesting things with J.C.